Hey guys, how you doing? My name is Robbie, and today we're gonna be learning some fun ways to sneak your favorite candy into class. No pranks on Chris today. I, I decided to give him a little bit of a break uh, because I, I don't want him to see it coming. So instead, we're gonna be trying some hacks to sneak uh, candy and food into class. Let's do this. Okay guys, so here's our Pringles can. And we're actually gonna use a recycled background. You see how we got stuff on it? We're cycling this bad boy. Here we go. Let's just measure our Pringles can. We're gonna get this razor. Just gotta guesstimate it, you know? Nothing has to be perfect. Yeah. And we just go ahead and put this around. It has to be just a little bit loose. Then we get some tape. Just gotta tape it on there. Cut this off so there's no extra. These will always be the death of me because I never cut them correctly. I need a hack to be able to cut things straight. That's what I need. Looks pretty good. It slips up and down. Now we're gonna go ahead and make our little hole. Boopity boop. Yeah, that should uh, that should be good enough. Maybe a little bit bigger. You know what? It's close enough. Now we go ahead and add our candy. In this case, it's Sour Skittles. These are my favorite. I probably attribute all my freaking cavities to these dang things. Okay, you guys ready to test this puppy out? Woo! Here we go. Shake it up a little bit. Wait, I need to add the pens, otherwise it won't work. There we go. I added the pens. It looks like a normal uh, pen holder now. Don't be suspicious. Don't be suspicious. Here we go. And dispense candy. I made the hole a little too small. It's okay. Nothing a little pair of scissors won't fix. Okay. Oh, let's try this again. One, two, and woo. One skull. Woo! More Skittles! Woo! Yeah! Dude, I haven't had candy in like two months. This is crazy. Oh, some good stuff. Well, guys, I guess we can say that this one works. So many Skittles. <laughs> So for this one, all we need is a pot, a plant. I'm gonna use uh, these fake flowers because uh, way better than whatever the heck he has, that weird plant thing. And then of course, some candy. So first we're gonna go ahead and put candy inside of here, just like that. Yeah, he's peasy. Put it in a bag because the pot is a little bit uh, dirty on the inside. I tried washing it out as well as I could. Oh no, there's candy in there. Probably not gonna eat those now. That's a little gross. So we're gonna put our candy in there like that. And our flower, just like. I've encountered a problem. So maybe if I just uh, tie this like that. Perfect! Yeah! Now I got myself a nice little hiding spot for my candy. And... <laughs> well guys, I guess we can say that this one works! To make one. Oh, here we go. Fabrics and sewing. Uh, uh, no. Ooh, fabrics. Perfect. Unfortunately, I couldn't find what length I'm supposed to cut this to be, but uh, according to Google, it says that it should be no further than the middle of my belt buckle. I don't think that this is long enough. I think it needs to be uh, two strips. So uh, I guess I'll just cut this in half. Or wait, I need to do, I have to make it a tie shape. Here we go, start with the tip. Yeah, just like that. And we're gonna go up. This is perfect for if you wanna make a tie for your dad for Father's Day. I'm sure I'll love this one. Careful, careful. You know what? It's not perfectly straight, but uh, you know, that's fine. Now we go ahead and cut this bad boy. Dang, I could almost just use this strip. But I have to stay true to the craft. Although I feel like I've already kind of gone off the rails a little bit considering that uh, I'm not even using a real tie. Okay. Okay, and I think we did it. This is our tie. It's very not straight at all. <laughs> so I'm actually gonna sew this part together. That way uh, I can make it long enough so that I could actually use it as a proper tie. Let's break out our sewing kit. Oh yes. Let's use some blue thread. Yeah, that's pretty. How are you guys liking this guy? Have you guys ever noticed I just call everything a, a guy? Maybe I should start calling things girls. This needle's a little harder to thread than I thought it would be, but I got it. Now we're gonna just uh, go ahead and sew these guys together. It doesn't have to look that great, okay? Now we have ourselves 
a properly uh, length tie. I mean, I'm probably gonna cut off the extra so that it doesn't, you know, it's not too long after this. But before we do that, I'm gonna go ahead and add the pocket. I'm just gonna go ahead and use more of this fabric so it just kind of blends in. It literally blends in so well, I can't even find where the tie went. Just kidding, it's right here. Okay, now put that on the back right there. The only bad thing about using blue thread is they're gonna be able to see uh, this pocket on the other side. Well, time to sew this bad boy on. I don't remember sewing being this difficult. Yeah, honestly, not my best sewing job. I think a five-year-old could probably do better than this. I didn't even do the whole pocket. So I'm just gonna go ahead and cut that part off. I, I have enough to fit like three Skittles in there. Let's try this puppy on. Okay, so here's our tie. Okay, here we go. I don't really know how to tie a tie, but I'm gonna do my darn best. Yeah, that doesn't look, that doesn't look too bad, right? Is that how you tie a tie? I don't think that's how you tie a tie. It's a little long. It goes a little bit uh, below my belt, which is a recommended height, but it's fine. Let's try and hide some Skittles in this bad boy. Here we go. So we just go and put them in our little pocket. Oh no. I think I made the pocket a little too small, but I can still fit it in there. Yes, it's working. And you guys will never know that I'm hiding candy inside my tie. Well guys, I guess we could say that this one works. <laughs> Yummy. So this one is gonna be really easy. Here's our double-sided tape. I got a variety of candy here just to see uh, which ones stick the best. Here we go, guys. Yeah. So I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm gonna go ahead and start off with the Snickers. This is the one. This is literally the candy that they use. So I'm expecting this to work. I can't get the tape off. Take that tape off. And now, boom. Uh oh, it actually sticks. Okay, we're gonna try the next one. Skittles, right here. Oh, stickers fell off. Maybe if I put it on a flatter. Oh my god, I'm losing all my candy. Maybe I'll put it on the back of my belt. Yeah. Nope, the side of my belt. It's kind of sticking, and it fell off. Well, guys, I guess I'm gonna have to say that this one doesn't work. any gummy bears, but I have some gummy worms and I'm pretty sure those are close enough. I also don't have a heat gun, uh, but I have a blowtorch. Um, <laughs> we're making all sorts of compromises today, I know. I also don't have a bowl, so I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, cut this can. So we're just gonna go ahead and put some of our gummy worms in there. Now we're gonna try and melt these puppies down. I gotta do it without burning them. I think my camera's gonna catch on fire. Oh my god, it's smoking. Ah! Why did I touch that? That was so hot. Okay, I have to move my camera a little farther away. Oh, okay, that's better. Let's try this again. Just kind of mix them up a little bit. This is hard to do without like completely melting them. Ah! They keep lighting on fire and I don't know why. Maybe it's because I'm using a freaking flame to do this. They don't want to melt down for whatever reason. I have the blowtorch literally so far away, but they're still catching on fire. Oh, ah, now they're smoking. Oh God, oh God. Okay, so obviously, uh, <laughs> so obviously this didn't work very well. Can I like just mix them up maybe? Are they melted enough? They, they smell like marshmallows. I'm gonna go ahead and break out some gloves before I touch these bad boys. It's, it's actually kind of funny because these legit like smell like burnt marshmallows. I guess it's all just sugar, right? Whoa. I'd like to think that uh, when you watch these videos, you're learning the uh, incorrect way to do things. If you're looking for a channel where you're looking for the right way to do things, you're probably in the wrong place. Let's be honest here. But this is pretty legit. It all kind of became like one giant, you know, mass. This is kind of cool. Is it hot? Oh, it's not that hot. It's a little hot. I should probably wait for it to cool down a little bit more, but you know. Dang, that's kind of cool. It does make a little bit of a gel, and I bet it would work a lot better if I had a heat gun, actually. Well, guys, I guess we're gonna have to say that this one works. Oh, God, it's so hot. Ah! Ah! Dude, I can't get it off of me. But how does this taste? Let's try it. It tastes like melted gummy worms. <laughs> okay, guys, so I'm bringing a new segment to the show called Bonus Crap! This is just a random thing on the internet that I found. In this case, it's on TikTok. But I, I found this, and I thought it was really cool, and I just really wanted to try it. Okay, so this is a Pepsi can. That's all I got there. Okay, three, two, one. All I have to do is pop the top like that. You don't actually need a bottle opener for this one. You have to pull up really fucking hard. There you go. I actually really wanted to try this one last night, but Tori told me that I had to wear gloves, and I only have gloves in my office. So what he did was, I guess he put it down like that. So I guess he did this, and then he stuck his finger in there, and then he just pulled up. Oh! <sighs> 
Come on. It's not working. I feel like he's trolling. I don't think that this is a real craft. I feel it in my freaking soul. But luckily, I have a bunch of different cans I can use. So here's like a small monster can. I'm gonna watch it one more time to make sure I'm not doing this wrong. Okay, so you just pop it, okay? And then you just pull it like that. One, two, and... No! I'm gonna try it with some pliers. Ah! Oh, I can't even manage to... Oh, there we go. It did eventually rip. Maybe I'm just doing this wrong. I'm gonna try it from like right here with the pliers. You ready? Okay, one, two, and... Nope, just with the tab. You ready? One, two, and... Nope, tab broke right off. It doesn't work! I'm gonna keep trying with all my cans. I'm just gonna keep trying this. Ah, no, I got green juice everywhere. Okay, do this and then pull straight up. Ah, didn't work. Cause his like just ripped right there and mine's not ripping there. Ah! 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 My whole mouth fell. My goodness. Is my camera okay? We are good. Well guys, gloves are coming off. I'm gonna have to say that this one doesn't work. I tried all these cans. And I couldn't do it with any of them. I tried the glove, I tried pliers. Nothing freaking works. Here is our razor. It's a pretty good razor, I have to admit. So we're just gonna go ahead and uh, take it out first. Oh, how do I take this off? Oh, there we go. Yeah, so we just take that out and we, uh, woo! That is dangerous. But we don't need it anymore, so you know what? Oh no, oh, that was a mistake. Oh yeah, I have uh, definitely made a mistake. <laughs> go ahead and put this off to the side, then we break out our candy. Just a single strip should do. There we go, yeah. So this has to go, no, oh, I need to cut it down a little bit. Luckily, I have a second razor that I can do that with. Woo, there we go. Does it fit? <gasps> and it fits perfect! Woo! Awesome. Okay, get in there. It's getting stuck. I think it's too thick to come out of here, so I have to widen the hole. This is very dangerous. I don't suggest anyone do this. Yeah, that uh, that might just uh, that might just do it. You ready? Uh, it's so close. It's just a little too. It's just a little too dang tight right there. Uh, I got it to fit. I had to stretch it out a little bit though. But I got it to work, kind of. Now it won't go back in. Go back in. There you go. Okay, then we cut it so that it looks like a razor, so just like that. Give it a little bit of a tip. Yeah, not bad. Okay. Uh. <laughs> This guy back on, like that one. Does it actually push it up at all? Not really. Okay, ready? Let's see if it works. One, two, and. Ah! So close to working. It kind of works. Oh! But it doesn't pull it back in. I mean, you're gonna eat it anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Now it definitely doesn't want to go back in. What have I done? Well, guys, I guess I'm gonna have to say that this one uh, uh, kind of works. I wouldn't recommend it because, A, why the heck would you bring a razor to school? I don't even think that these are allowed in school. So, uh, in that aspect, it doesn't work at all. Not a good way to sneak candy into class. Okay, guys. Guys, that's was favorite really part of the video where we record the thumbnail. Woo! Okay, so for this one, real simple. Uh, uh, since I already have this taken apart and I have the candy inside, I guess I'll take uh, this part first. Here we go. I don't even know if I'll need this green screen, if I'm being totally honest. Because there's a like zoomed in really close like that. And then they were kind of like. Okay, guys, now for the dangerous one. Ooh. Okay, don't do this at home. Uh, no, 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 do it. Okay guys, thanks so much for watching the video. If you liked it, make sure you give it a thumbs up and something this fight right down there. If you guys want to watch me try even more fun life hacks and crafts, I have a little playlist that can be do that right here. I have a lot of them, like over 200 videos actually. So I have probably weeks worth of entertainment there if you get bored, which I'm sure you are because you're watching this video right now. If you guys are new, make sure to hit that subscribe button. If you guys want to watch clips from these videos before they come out along with other fun clips, I have a whole new channel called Robbie Clips where I upload new clips. <laughs> okay guys, I love you so much. I'll see you guys again real soon. Peace, love, and Wi-Fi. Oh, we're heading. Okay, bye. Ah!